today I'm gonna do a flaming brawl. <laughs> today I'm doing a flaming brawl. That's right. You're gonna need some painter's tape, two cans of plastic dip, a gallon of xylene, a respirator. For the love of God, have a respirator and your paint gun. If you already have the paint gun and the respirator and the tape laying around, this shouldn't cost you any more than 30 bucks to do. So uh, let's get to this because I think you're gonna find this video very interesting. He's looking at me at the ground. I'm waiting That's for you. That's my penis. Six dollars for a beer? It's gonna be good. I am the puzzle man. We take the hood. We're gonna do a brawl, but we're gonna add flames, and we're gonna do kind of a racing stripe right up the middle. I've got a request for both stencils and to see what a stripe looks like when it's done. You gotta work fast on something like this because as the dip dries, it's gonna bond with the tape. So when you pull the tape off, it's actually gonna pull the dip off. So we're gonna do two, two coats. We're gonna go over it once with a light coat. We're gonna let that dry. We're not even gonna worry about it because the second coat we go over with it is going to have a lot of xylene in it, which is gonna basically melt the first coat. The first coat is gonna go as, the, as a foundation, even though it's gonna get wet again. Um, it's gonna get just wet enough to where we can peel the tape, but it's gonna leave it on the paint and not create any uh, tears or rips in the dip. Can of xylene. Here we go. Two cans of xylene. We're not going to dump that in yet. So, you see what I've done there? I'm using the second can of xylene, pouring it into the existing cans of Plasti Dip. Get it stirred around, get all the excess out of there. And clean. You see? Alright. So there we have it. Two cans of Plasti Dip, two cans of xylene, that's a perfect 50 50 mix. We're going to fill this just a little over halfway. You fill it any more than that, then you're going to have a problem when you tilt your gun, it's going to be spitting and sputtering everywhere. Alright, hello, come here. Everywhere. Every few inches, I got something sticking up to grab it later to make it easier to peel off. So, let's go down with coat number one. Coat number one. I'm going to do coat two. The coat two I'm going to stay primarily right here. I don't want to put too much on here because I want to leave it just thin enough where the xylene can still melt the edges where it's bonded to the tape and uh, still get a good layer at the same time. So we're just going to do right here on the front. Now, the reason I'm doing it a little extra thick right there, that's obviously going to be where the bugs and rocks and everything hit. So I want to be able to make it as durable as possible. Dude, look. Ah, I found my good mask. All right. 
I'm going to do one solid heavy coat on here. What you're going to see is you're going to see me go down and the whole top is going to be wet. Not so wet that it runs, but it's going to be wet so it all bonds together. Now that bond is what you're looking for to make one solid even surface. That's how you avoid the zebra striping across the hood. It's the hardest part of doing all of this. Now, if you're asking yourself, Puzzle Man, why are you spending all your money doing this just to make YouTube videos? Well, still putting that one together. So, yeah, I worked on that one all night. It's on, it's thick, we need to start peeling now.
No, you can't let it dry. That's kind of doo-doo right there. My bad, bro. That's kind of doo-doo. Okay. So, here we have it. I scraped my nail across right here, but I'm going to show you how to fix that. And while I was peeling it, oh God, I'll fix that too. And I actually dropped the tape back onto the dip right here, and I'll show you how to fix that as well. So now the uh, the thing we got to do is let this completely dry because repairing Plasti Dip is really really easy. So I'm gonna go get a chili dog and uh, up here we have a real live stencil. We're gonna try this. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but we're gonna do this. We put this bad boy right on. Come on right there. I want to avoid the other stuff. But I'm going to leave that there. Leave me a little handle to grab it by. I'm using masking tape here instead of painter's tape. If you use masking tape, be careful not to slide it on your paint because it will leave a residue. It's not that it won't come off, it's just pain in the ass. And if this part doesn't come out, it's not making it to the video. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it'll probably make it to the video. If I see it, well, yeah. I always show the fail too. Get on right around and cruising and coasting this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. You're too new, man. Too new.
All right. It's still something people look at. I'm going to turn these fans off. Turn them around. I want as little airflow as I can possibly have in here. For this, I'm going to switch to the little guy. Cool and all, but it ain't the best. Is there one that's more like makes the skull darker right there? Be really well. Make that's that's the point of that that particular stencil is to where the skull isn't dark right there. Okay. You like it? I like it. Okay. I'm just using a regular paper towel here. Excess off. There we go. There's your stencil. Now we're gonna let the stencil dry. We're gonna flip it over and do it on the other side. <laughs> All right. Click subscribe. Oh no. It was a bug and it looked like it was in pain, so I took it out. I don't like it when things are in pain. Yes, even bugs. You notice I'm not doing base coat and then a follow up coat and so on and so forth. This stuff dries a lot faster than uh, than what I'm spraying out of my gun. The aerosol can is, is, is very fast drying. So my thing is, is I'm going to get it on here, get it thick and get that tape and the stencil off as fast as possible. spray not a concern this is dip it comes right off now I'd like to suggest when you have dip on your stencil don't peel it off because that thick layer of dip the next time you use it will actually help um, I guess make a seal is what I'm trying to say the next time around you use it so really the thicker it is the better it is because the thin stencil itself will allow overspray to get underneath it. Once you have a few coats of dip on this and you've got it down there pretty good, it's not going to let the overspray squeeze underneath like it would like a brand new clean stencil. I've got two Q-tips to make this yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I've got five Q-tips to make this right. Q-tip. Xylene.
I just want to get the Hoover spray off, mm -hmm. get it wet, and get a uh, get a nice line going. And then once the xylene evaporates, I'm going to come over and just basically rub it with my finger and get the rest of it off. Okay. So we've covered up our damaged area, and we got a little overspray. We're going to use the xylene to get our our defined lines back in there. Of course, doing that by hand, you're not going to get as good of a line as you would by tape, but it'll do. I mean, for me, it'll do. For you, it might not, but, you know, hey. So, once this dries, we're going to come back and basically rub in here and get that overspray off. And, I don't know, I'm thinking about leaving it. Yeah, that's good. I'm wondering if we can take... We're gonna try to blend it in, but it's hit it there. Yeah. We'll go ahead and take care of that right now. I ain't too worried about this spot. Alright. I need, I need a piece of cardboard. Mm, this will work. Piece of sandpaper, piece of cardboard. Something that's stiff and not your penis, preferably. Where are we at? Try to prevent overspray. the other spot. I ain't too worried about that one. Okay. Well what we're gonna do with that this spot right here where we have a problem tape caught in we're just gonna go ahead and clean that out a little bit. spot right there. Alright, I've got some good defined lines. I'm going to go in, have a chili dog, come back out, and then I'm going to take the thumb and get all the excess overspray off, and we're going to be done. So here we go. We've used stencils, we've stenciled with tape, and we put on a racing stripe. All one video.